Hi everyone, Miss Patsy here at Castile Innovation Lab and today we are going to um, investigate the effects of salinity on hatching of um, brine shrimp. I have a little vial of brine shrimp eggs. I have a, um, a cup of kosher salt. I have a measuring spoon, um, a teaspoon for the salt. I have a measuring spoon for the brine shrimp eggs, a stir stick, some cups of water. There's 150 cc's of water in each cup that uh, comes out to a little over a half a cup and some cup covers. Uh, we're putting covers on it so that the water doesn't evaporate out and um, change the concentration of salt in each cup. And salinity uh, refers to the amount of salt in water. Um, and concentration is the amount of salt, um, which is the solute in the amount of water, which is the solvent. So we're gonna be making a solution. Uh, we're gonna be making four solutions, uh, actually three solutions. This uh, cup will have no salt in it. This cup will have two spoons um, of salt in it. This cup will have four spoons of salt in it, and this cup will have six spoons of salt in it. So I'll go ahead and measure. One, two, and this one. One, two, three, four, and this one. One, two, three, five and six. I'll go ahead and stir these up and let the salt dissolve. This is an easy experiment for you to do at home. Just take four different cups and put um, the different amounts of salt in each cup. Use kosher salt, not regular table salt because table salt has um, other chemicals in it that um, won't allow the brine shrimp to hatch. Or you can also go online and look for um, a package called sea monkeys and um, that has everything in it. You don't, you don't need any salt at all. It has the salt included in the packets. So after I mix that, I'm gonna put a teeny tiny spoonful of brine shrimp in each. One in the cup with no salt one in the cup of two with two spoons of salt, one in the cup of four spoons of salt, and one with the cup of six spoons of salt. And I'll go ahead and put covers on each. Shake them up a little bit. To get all of the eggs wet. And then we'll check on them in a couple of days. It takes about 24 to 48 hours for them to hatch. And um, we'll see if um, the different levels of salinity made a difference in our eggs being um, able to hatch. And um, thank you very much, and I uh, will check in next time. Hi everyone, Miss Patsy here at Castile Innovation Lab, and we are looking at the brine shrimp that we were trying to hatch. Um, 
It's been three days since we added them to our um, salt solutions. And we're gonna go ahead and look at um, the results. So first off, we have the cup with no salt in it. And we're gonna look for, um, to see if any brine shrimp has hatched. It's kind of hard to tell. if those are brine shrimp or just eggs, but um, they don't look like they're swimming around. They just look like they're floating. Uh, so let's go ahead and check out the cup with two spoons of salt and see if we can see any hatchlings in that. Now, you can see that in this there are a lot that are swimming around. So I would say that the cup with two spoonfuls of salt was successful in hatching the brine shrimp. So let's go to the cup with four spoons of salt. And I don't see any shrimp swimming around in this one at all. And then let's go to the cup with six spoonfuls of salt. And I don't see anything swimming around in this one either. So that tells us that um, the cup with the two spoonfuls of salt was the appropriate amount of salt for the brine shrimp um, to hatch. And um, so the question was, uh, how can we find out if salinity affects brine shrimp hatching? And um, the salinity was determined by how many spoonfuls of salt we added to the, solu to, the, um, to the solvent, which was water. So we put no salt in this cup, two spoons of salt in this cup, four spoonfuls in this cup, and six spoonfuls in this cup. And um, we found that the only one that had um, actual hatchlings was the cup with the two spoonfuls of salt. So that is the conclusion of our um, hatching of our brine shrimp. I will, um, next time we will dilute the high concentrated um, cups of salt solution, and then we will add salt to the cup with no salt in it and see if the, hatch, if the eggs in those um, hatch. And until then, we'll see you next time. Thanks.